What's up guys? It's your boy Umar Khan and today we're taking a look at the best game on the Quest 2. Sorry, let me preface that. The best boxing game on the Quest 2. Now, if you're subscribed for some time now, you've probably seen me play this game a lot. Uh, that being said, we gotta talk about this game. Okay, let's just go normal and I'm gonna box and talk so let's see how, how well I can do. Alright, so let's talk about this game real quick. Why is this the best game on the Quest 2? For a couple reasons. The best thing about this, and the reason why I bought it originally, was a price point. Where Creed and some of these higher end boxing games are coming in at full price. This one's like 12 bucks Canadian. So if you're like in the US, I think 8 or 9 bucks for you guys. So that's a big plus, price. Okay, some cons real quick before we go into all the pluses. There's no multiplayer, there's no campaign, there's no proper chaining sequences, okay? But let's jump back to the pros real quick. This game, compared to something like Thrill of the Fight, Sorry, this is compared to a game like Creed, let's just say, which I think is the second best boxing game, but only the competitor, really. Um, the fighting style is so much more accurate, you see? I have to actually move. It's not cartoony, it actually moves the way my hand moves. If I tap him lightly, nothing happens. If I strike him, he'll gasp for air, let me get a nice strike. Okay, also, in Creed, when you fight him, his face turns red. And this one, it turns red too, but if you get him a good one, you can bust him open, and that's so satisfying, because if you feel like you're losing the round the whole time, you get a burst of energy, and you give him a couple of good strikes, and you bust him open, that's motivating that you're making it to the end. Now excuse me guys, for my being out of breath, I have a little bit of a cold, and I'm trying to present this game to you guys, and this guy won't give up. Gosh, he looks like Cody Rhodes, <laughs> if y'all know who that is. All right, so, so we're talking about pros real quick, like I said, the realisticness, the, the blood, okay, the blows, for example, I can punch him in his face, I punch him in his gut, it's very accurate, I punch him in his rib, punch him in the side of his head around his guard, you know, punch him through his guard, which is really nice, and also, let's just go defense real quick, you get up, move out of the way, use your hands to block punches, okay, if it's just more realistic, than Creed, by like all means. That's why I think this is the number one boxing game. Now, if Throw the Fight eventually has an update and goes online, throw a campaign in there, that'd be the cherry on top. But as of now, like if you just wanna come and box, you don't really care about all the fun stuff, you don't care about all the arcade mechanisms, you just wanna box, and have a realistic fighting experience, this is a game for you. And look at this guy, he's actually pretty strong. I've been giving him some solid blows and was barely able to knock him out. See, even with spamming, guys, he stands his ground. He is uh, the hardest guy on the, on the game. But it's not normal difficulty, so maybe I'm talking. All right, comment down below if you think I'm going to win. And comment down below if you're going to grab this game. It's, it's really cool, especially if you're interested in boxing and want to get some... Boxing exercise in on a regular basis. I highly, highly recommend you grabbing this title. Okay, that's the end of a three minute round. There's five rounds to go. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Wish me luck. Last minute and a half. Last round, guys. So far, it's been a fair fight. I haven't knocked him down. He didn't knock me down. Anyone can win this one. Oh, shit. Woo! I think that's literally the only reason why I'm going to win this fight. Woo! Woo! All right, gotta keep breathing. I'm home. Especially the fact that he didn't knock me down even once. What do you got? What do you got? Gentlemen. Going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. Let's go. Woo. So as you can see, we are just playing on normal, nothing crazy. And actually, I was doing pretty good. I guess the second round where I lost a bit. And it's so cool how it gives you a detailed stack. So the knockdown score, I only knocked him down once. And then the power, so you can see it's going 520 versus 180. So I probably could have pulled back a little bit. Didn't need to throw my all. And then uh, damaging punches, he had 54, I had 186. Uh, you have like 10 different fighters, you have like four different difficulties. Um, they have a speed bag, which eh, 
I mean, it's, it's something. Um, that's cool, whatever. They also have the, the dummy, which is alright too. It's nice how it highlights the points. You can practice your hooks. Uppercut. So it does have, I guess, a decent, like, training, but you're gonna have to do it yourself. It's not like Gamify. Okay, this heavy bag's actually pretty cool because it shows the power of your punch. So you can practice your combos. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it is what it is. But again, for the price point, this is probably the best fighting game you can get on the Quest 2. Again, it's called Thrill of the Fight. Definitely check it out.